Hi there. Uh, here we are in Excel 2007, and we're going to make a graph like that in Experiment 12 in the James Hall Lab Manual. Uh, this is on page 100. If you look, uh, there's a there's a graph of the data and uh, an example graph. We've got some points going up and some points going down and then we have uh, a best fit line going up and a best fit line going down and then a line coming down the center so here's what I've done is uh, I've got some data here that kinda looks like w w the data on there um, it's sort of a pretty close to perfect data so uh, this would be the best case scenario I think now, um, so this is Excel 2007. Let me show you. Just sim we could just make a simple plot here by dragging the data and going to Insert, and then we don't want line that has unpredictable results. We want a scatter plot, and also um, we don't want uh, the 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 one that has a line. Let me show you real quick that. It, it makes a curve through there. We don't like that. So I'm going to undo that. And uh, we're going to go insert, scatter, and we just want the points. So we get an idea here that there's an up and a down. Now it looks to me, we could actually just see that this data, it's right in the middle, which means stoichiometrically it's best with a 50-50 or a 1 to 1 ratio. Um, so we want a line going up and we want a line going down. So um, I'm going to make two graphs now. Uh, so I'm going to move this one aside and uh, make uh, an up graph, which I noticed the first five points look like they were going up, so I'm dragging the first five data points with the temperature. And I'm going to go to Insert, Scatter, like that. So you see, I'm moving that around. <coughs> we just have the up points. Okay. Now, uh, in order to uh, get the the down points, I have to go to select data right here. This is Excel 2007, and um, right now this f this up series is named Series One. I'm just going to rename it up. So it's now called up. Now I want to add a new series. I'll call this one down. And the X values are the moles of B. So I'm going to click this button and come over here. Now I want to include the 0.5 here because it looked like it was part of the down series too. Up to 0.9. Now I want the Y values, which are right next to it. Those are the temperatures on the Y axis. So we're going to click OK, and let's just have a look here. You can see there's up and there's down, and uh, they've color-coded them. And uh, now we can, uh, we can uh, do some more things. I'm going to come over here. That This is a magic button that makes it into a grid, so we like grids like that. Um, and I also notice when you choose this grid option, it automatically puts a linear trend line in for each. So that's kind of handy. Now, in, if you're using Excel 2000 or something like earlier, uh, you have to right-click on the data and then click Add Trend Line. Now, what we want to do is make our, our trend line cross and then maybe extend to the, <coughs> to the edges of our, our axis. So I'm going to right-click and select Format Trend Line So in our Up series. And um, it's, notice it's linear, but that's not what we're looking for here. I want to go backward. Right now it's starting at 0.1. I want to go to 0. So I have to say backwards by 0.1 periods, which is 0.1 units here. So if I close that, you see that graph extends that way. Now hold on. Let me go back. I want it to cross on top, so I want it to go forward a little bit too. 0.1 sounds fine, so we're going to, you see it, it's going past that point. 
I want to do the same thing with this trend line, the down trend line. And uh, that's not what I want. I want to go to, I have to select the line to get that. There we go, format trend line. So uh, again, I want to go uh, back. This, In this case, I want to go back a little bit. And then I want to go to the one line. So I'm going to go back 0.1. And I'm going to go forward 0.1. See what that looks like. Looks pretty good, but I noticed that the axis was automatically adjusted. So it didn't like that. That's Microsoft Excel there. So what we want to do is I want to make the, the axis uh, scaled my way. So uh, I'm going to format axis. See how I did that? Right click. I, maybe I haven't been telling you. We're doing a right click here, format axis. There's another way to do it if you go up into here, format, no, layout, axes. Maybe this is it. I don't know. I think that's more tedious. So I just right click on the number here, do format axis. And you see it, it's automatically set the minimum 0, the maximum 1.5 and then the major and minor units. I'm going to change the maximum to 1. Let's see what we get. See, it goes to 1. I also see my temperatures, um, they go from 0 to 30. Now, notice on the graph on page 100, it goes from 15 to 27. Let's just do what that shows and see what it looks like. So I'm right-clicking on this axis, format axis, and I want the minimum to be 15. And the maximum I'm setting at 27. Let's see what we get. I'm not going to mess around with the with the grid, but you see it's kind of taking shape. It looks like it looks like the other one. Uh, I don't like this over here, so I'm just going to click it and then delete, and now it's gone. Um, now we could um, edit these titles. So. This is temperature. If you remember the other video, Alt 0176 is the degree symbol. And down here we have moles of B. And um, we want a title, so go here, primary, no, 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 chart title, above chart. So let's just do exactly what is in the lab manual graph of temperature versus moles of B used. Let's see, it's too big. I'll select all that, go over to home and make it smaller. So, pretty cool, huh? Now, there's one more thing we could add here insert. We want to make a line. So, that's under shapes, insert shapes, and then we just want a straight line. We're going to take this line and notice that we can move at any angle, but if I hold down shift, it's vertical. So now we can move this line. I'm just going to line this up with where they cross. Ah! I want to drag that down. Now it does. Eh. I'm going to do it again. Insert line. Hold the shift button. I think I'll just use the arrows. No, well, that's not going to help me. Just move it. And I can see in this case, line comes down 0.5. Boom. There's our graph. So uh, the mole ratio is 0.5 to 0.5. That's it.